fighter who recently pulled off one of the biggest upsets in sports history when she beat Ronda Rousey to become the new WFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. Please welcome Holly, the preacher's daughter, home. <laughs> Put that right there. Okay. Boy, she is going to kick your butt. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. I got to congratulate you, champ. That was an amazing fight. Thank you. Um, I, how are you feeling? Are you I feel awesome. still pumped? <laughs> yeah. I got an hour and a half sleep last night, but I'm still awake. Oh, oh wow. Right, that's good. You know? Well, we, 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 but we have a photo of the winning uh, moment, the moment that sealed the win, the, the oh. kick to the neck. And, and I mean, it's just such an amazing victory. But everybody, everybody doesn't see all the work it takes that goes behind it. But when you when you're training, was it an emotional training session because you you knew the task you were going up against? No one I really cried. thought you could do this. You cried. Yeah, like every day. Every, every day? day. It'd be like frustrating day, ah, and I would just tell myself, if you perform like that, you're not going to win the fight. So I'd have to go back later, right. try and perfect what I was messing up. And then there would be days I'd be like, I could just taste the victory. Right. And I'd be so pumped, I'd just sit in my car and cry. So it was good, it was bad, I was just crying all Can the time. Can I just tell you one thing? Um, your arms are what my arms want to be when they grow up. <laughs> really? I, am, I just want to know You're everything. You're very sweet, but do you realize that most people just want to be you? No, no, I, you can, listen, I'll trade you all of me for the arms. Okay. <laughs> yeah, deal. So will there be a rematch? Everybody wants to know, is there going to be a rematch? I'm open for whatever. Um, that's kind of how I got in this fight in the first place. Yeah. A lot of people thought it came too soon. Only my third fight in the UFC that I thought was, you know, going too soon. And I just said, you know, when they called and said, this is your next fight, I said, okay. But you've been fighting a long time, so it's not like your yeah. first fight ever. Right. You're, you're boxing. This game. was the biggest thing. Well, I don't know. I, there's like these moments where it's like, this is the biggest fight of my career. And then... Right. There's a, you know, a few more, and then there's another milestone. This is the big fight of my career. Mm -hmm. So it was big, but I've been through moments where I've been the underdog, and nobody really was, like, right. thinking I could do it. And I thought, well, that's what they think. I thought you guys were going to get into a fight at the weigh-in, which yeah. was, I mean, the weigh-in scared me to death. I had, an, I had a little bit of a breakdown. Okay. So there's this, you know, they can't buy bees anymore. Mm -hmm. So I have this whole, like, rehydration plan. I had this, like, special drink that was made with all, like, coconut water and, like, salt and like BCAA and caffeine and like it's like a thing right. to like reset your body right? right so when she I saw her get off the scale I was thinking oh my drink this is like gold let's not spill wow. this I didn't think she was gonna get you know a little intense but it was yeah. kind of fun you know get a little fired up well you know what <laughs> we're fired up and then we're gonna take a break we're gonna get in the cage with you when we come back and you're going to show us the, um, the winning kick or something like that. I have a feeling I'm going to be on the receiving end. We'll be right back with Holly Holm, everybody.